In this lecture, we will discuss a special case of JFET biasing. Till now, we have discussed four biasing schemes. The first one was fixed bias configuration. Fixed bias configuration. The second one was self bias configuration. Self bias configuration. The third one was voltage voltage divider divider bias the fourth one was common common base configuration so these are the four biasing schemes we have already completed and we obtained we obtained the operating point in all the four cases and if you remember we followed mathematical we followed mathematical as well as graphical approach in this case in case of fixed bias configuration and also we followed mathematical and graphical approach in case of self bias configuration in voltage divider bias and in common base configuration we followed only graphical approach in the fifth case in the special case we will follow only the graphical approach the biasing scheme we are going to discuss in this lecture is special because the operating point is having the x coordinate equal to 0 the operating point is having the x coordinate vgs q and the y coordinate is idq in this case in special case vgs q is equal to 0 volt vgs q is equal to 0 volt we are writing Q in the representation because we want to show VGS Q is one of the coordinates of the operating point. So VGS Q is nothing but VGS which is the input voltage and it is equal to 0 volt. This means VG minus VS is equal to 0 volt and this implies VG is equal to VS. So potential at gate terminal is same as the potential at source terminal so we can join them like this and in this way VGS is equal to 0 volt the input voltage or the controlling voltage is equal to 0 volt and uh, you can easily find out the operating point in this case we already know the x coordinate of the operating point it is equal to 0 and we have to find out the y coordinate of the operating point and to find out y coordinate we need two plots the first one is the transfer curve of the device the device here is n channel jfet so we need the transfer curve of n channel jfet and then we need the load line we need the load line and you can easily plot the load line using vgs equal to 0 volt transfer curve we know how to plot we will use shockley's equation to plot the transfer curve idss and vp is already given idss is the maximum drain current vp is the pinch of voltage and shockley's equation is id equal to idss inside the bracket 1 minus vgs by vp whole square we have discussed how to obtain the transfer curve in all the four cases so i will directly plot the transfer curve for n channel jfet i will first i will first draw the x axis and then i will draw the y axis the y axis is for the drain current in milliamp the x axis is for vgs in volt this is origin we need three points and the first point is this point the x coordinate is equal to vp and the y coordinate is equal to zero id is equal to zero and you will get vgs equal to vp when you will put id equal to zero amp and when you put vgs equal to zero volt you will find id is equal to idss so when VGS is equal to 0 volt, ID is equal to IDSS and as we already know VP and IDSS from here we can easily locate them in the graph and the third point you will get when you will put VGS equal to VP by 2 put VGS equal to VP over 2 
and you will find ID is equal to IDSS over 4 and you can also locate IDSS over 4 and VP over 2 VP over 2 IDSS over 4 and in this way you will get the third point this is the third point now join join these three points and you will get the transfer curve of n channel jfet the curve will look like this after this we will plot the load line and to plot the load line i will use the fact that vgs is equal to 0 volt vgs is equal to 0 volt this means we will have a straight line like this so this curve here the pink one is the transfer curve and this line here the green one is the load line and you can see this is the intersection between the transfer curve and the load line so this point here is the operating point or Q point the Y coordinate is equal to IDSS this shows IDQ is equal to IDSS and the X coordinate is equal to 0 volt so VGSQ is equal to 0 volt we already know this now we have the two coordinates and in this way we have obtained the operating point the drain current IDQ is equal to IDSS so this biasing scheme is special because it is simple the biasing scheme is simple you can clearly see the operating point is having the coordinates 0 and IDSS IDSS is already given in the problem so the operating point we know from the beginning there is no need to perform all the calculations as you are getting the operating point from the specifications itself so this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section in the next lecture we will start the MOSFET biasing and if you are interested in finding out the output voltage you can easily find out the current through resistance RD is the drain current and the output voltage is VDS so try to find out the output voltage by yourself you can apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in the output loop and once you have your answer post it in comment section so this is all see you in the next one